What was that? What? I thought I heard something. Like an animal or something. Nobody here but us chickens. Very funny. <laughs> here, let me do it. I can do it. Give me the matches. Where's Kristen? She'll be here. Don't get your shorts in a knot. Yeah, after the work is all done, she wouldn't want to break her fingernails. Ouch! We're gonna have to make a rule about latecomers. What was that? It sounded like a hound dog. Maybe it was Kristen. <laughs> She's no dog. I had to pick up Elvis. And who's Elvis? He ain't nothing but a hound dog. My dad says Elvis is king. So, Christian, are you gonna tell us a story or are you just gonna sit there scaring us with Elvis? I have a tale that'll have you shaking in your little hands. <laughs> Elvis is here for the sound effects. Ooh. We'll need some help with the dust, Dave. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. Call this story The Tale of the Hungry Hounds. On rainy days, Ham liked to rummage around in her musty old attic. Her mother never threw anything away. There was stuff from Pam's grandparents, from relatives, and ancestors who'd been dead for years. One summer, Pam's cousin Amy was visiting from the city. Amy, come here. Look at this. Isn't this great? Grandpa wore this at his, at his wedding. Just think, my mother and your father were just a twinkle in his eye. But I guess Aunt Dora came first. Amy. Come here, look at this. Amy, where are you? Amy? Hello, Charles. Who's Charles? Guests are arriving, dear. It's nearly time for the wedding. This isn't funny. <laughs> oh, give me a break. You don't really believe in ghosts, do you? There are more things on heaven and earth that you could ever dream of. Says who? Hamlet. His father's ghost made him do things that he didn't want to do. Like what? Like kill his uncle for marrying his mother. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Glad we're not in that family. I don't believe in ghosts anyways. What's this? I didn't know you could ride. I can't. Mom won't let me. This is Aunt Dora, and that's her horse, Mirage. She sure looked like you. Let's go. No, no, no. It's coming from in there. Oh, come on, help me. Oh. Look, there's a name. Dora Pease, 1963. Come on, this is too creepy. Probably just a mouse. No, we shouldn't touch it. Mom says let the dead rest in peace. Look, there's a little mouse hole. <clears throat> hey in there. Tell us the combination and we'll let you free. Pam, Amy, come on down now. It's time to feed the dog. Let's go. I can't 
believe that I have to spend my entire summer here. What do you do for fun anyways? Promise you won't tell? His owners live in the city. They only come here on weekends, though. Does it bite? Nah, he's just a big baby. Watch. Come here. Ah, uh, good boy. So he's like a big dog. So what? Watch this. dangerous if I knew how to ride. Can't I just take some lessons? No. And I wish you wouldn't bring the subject up again. It's dinner time. Let's go home. But it's safe in a ring. I don't want to discuss it. Well, then it happened 30 years ago. Seems like yesterday to me. I think you better give it a rest. with just one person. This is feeble. Don't you do anything around here except play games? What are we gonna do next, Jethro? Shuck some corn? Come on, humor me. I found it in the attic. The spirits were supposed to give us messages from the other world. Hmm, maybe they can tell us where to get a pizza. <sighs> Amy. I'm sorry. Let's visit the far side. Mom said that she and Aunt Dora used to do this when they were kids. You're doing this, right? No. L. E. T. M. E. O. U. T. Late now. No. It's spelled let me out. Let me out? Maybe it's that rodent calling from Aunt Dora's box. One, four, nine. What if it works? We're just gonna open it up and take a look. What's the big deal? Yeah, but you saw how upset my mom got it. It's like she's haunted by her sister. If she catches it, it, it Look, if they can fit through that mouse hole, it's not big enough to hurt us. Yeah, but what if it's something else? Like what? Now, what were those numbers? One, four, nine. Look, I'm telling you, this isn't gonna work, and I, I don't even believe in this stuff. Then you shouldn't be scared. Cousin, what are you scared of? <clears throat> oh, cool, it's all her riding stuff. It's all covered with dirt and grass, yeah. Looks like they never washed it after the last time she wore it.
the dog or something? Okay. Ah, good job. You've totally creeped me. Okay, I deserve it. I've been a pain now. Let's go back. for a hundred years. As you are, so was I. As I am, so will you be. <sighs> nice thought. Aunt Dora's grave. Why did you bring me here? to you. It's a gift from the fox. He leaves me presents. Very nice. Now, let's go. I called it Mon Petit Rouge. My little red one. I fed him each day. He looked at me through the cage with his little golden eyes. I know. Let's travel back to Earth now, okay? I didn't want the hounds to tear him apart. But they were ravenous and howling for the hunt. The day of the hunt, I got up before dawn to see Mon Petit Rouge. He was shivering in his cage. I opened the door, and I let him run free in the barn. The hounds could hear him, and they could smell him. They were going crazy. I know the feeling. I opened the barn door, and he seemed to smile at me. And then he ran away. The hounds were furious. I wanted to ride after him before the hunters came. So, I saddled up Mirage and we raced over the hills. But, but then something startled him. And he shied before a jump. A and he tripped. And we fell together. Pam, your imagination is running away with you. You are Pam. You're not Dora. Wondering when you'd get around to your chores. I've come to feed the hounds. You should have fed them while they were alive. I couldn't get back until now. It was all torn up when you died. Oh, my little Dora. She is not Dora. When I found them, they were nearly starved. They leapt at me. I couldn't keep them down. I, I got away, but, but my heart... My heart! I'm sorry, Giles. Why didn't you feed the hounds? The fire run! Oh, 
What was happening to you back there? Who was that guy? Giles was the stable keeper. What's the matter, Elvis? Smell a fox? Maybe he's scared. Maybe he's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Who locked the girls in the barn? It might have been Giles. Or it might have been another ghost from the family graveyard. There's gotta be another way out of here. I have to feed the hounds. Don't get strange on me again, please. They're trapped in there. Starved and it's all my fault. You listen to me. You are not Dora. You're Pam. It's not your fault, and it wasn't her fault either. It's that jacket. Take off the jacket! Dora, listen to me. We're your nieces. You're inside Pam's body. Nonsense. I have no nieces. My brother and my sister are ten years old. Now I've got to feed those hounds. They're starved before a hunt, you know. What if they attack us? They must be fed. Pam! Dora! Don't open that door! Let me go. I have to feed the hounds. Not until you let Pam back into her own body. Forget it. I'm going for help. No! You don't know the way. I'll show you if you let me feed the hounds. What are you gonna feed them? Me? Kibble. Now let me out and I'll get it. No way. Tell me where it is. If you don't tell me, we're both dog meat. Over there by the ladder.
gonna tell Aunt Beth. Tell her about what? Him! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just my allergies and all this dust. Let's go downstairs. This place is haunted. I thought you didn't believe in ghosts. Come on, I gotta go feed the dogs. What dogs? You only have one. That's what I said. I have to feed the dog. You said dogs. You said I have to feed the dogs. Did not. You did too. Did not. Did too. Who cares what I said? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing. I'm fine. I'm okay. Okay. Rexy's hungry and I'm gonna go feed him now. After that, Pam tried one more time to convince her mother to let her take riding lessons. And it finally worked, because her mom was no longer haunted by her sister Dora. And Dora's ghost was no longer tormented by the howling of the hungry hounds. The end. I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed. Don't forget to feed your dog, or he may have a bone to pick with.